good morning. Happy day after the election. Now, now let me confess right off the bat, I am actually taping this on Tuesday, and so I don't know who won the election, and I'm also aware that as you are watching this on Wednesday, you may not know either, and that makes this the perfect day for us to talk a little bit about one of my favorite, favorite hymns and one of my favorite hymn writers. The hymn is God of Grace and God of Glory, written by Harry Emerson Fosdick. You may know that that uh, wonderful hymn, the first uh, stanza ends uh, asking God, grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the facing of this hour. I had a church member in a former church who said that she loved it whenever we set that as the very first hymn of the day so that she could sing uh, and ask God, grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the facing of this hour, the 11 o'clock hour on Sunday morning. But of course, that hymn is a hymn that brings much comfort, much hope uh, to all of us, and also gives us a lot of purpose. Harry Emerson Fosdick, you may know, was ordained as a Baptist minister in 1903. Uh, that makes him uh, somewhat like me, and not that I was ordained in 1903, but that I was ordained as a Baptist minister. He went and he served in World War I, and then he came back from World War I, and he took the pastorate at the First Presbyterian Church in New York City. Again, kind of like my uh, career moving from the Baptist Church to the Presbyterian Church. A few years, years later, John D. Rockefeller recognized just how talented Fosdick was and wanted Fosdick to come and serve at his church, which was Park Avenue Baptist Church, and Fosdick refused. He said in his words that Park Avenue was just too swank and he couldn't church serve a church that swank. And so, uh, not to be outdone, and of course being a man of tremendous resources, Rockefeller said, then I will build you a church in Harlem, and that can be your new church. Rockefeller built the stunning Riverside Church in uh, Harlem. It was an interdenominational church, a church built for Harry Fosdick, uh, so that he could be the pastor there, completed in 1930. Harry Emerson Fosdick wrote the hymn, God of Grace and God of Glory, for the dedication of that church. Now, much like First Cumberland of Chattanooga, Riverside a Church is uh, an architectural prayer, a beautiful testimony to God just through its architecture. To walk into that church or to see it uh, is uh, hopefully a way to call people to faith in God and to trust in God. And yet Fosdick was very serious about the ministry of the church. He recognized that church cannot only be a beautiful structure, but it also must be a beacon of hope. And so it was Fosdick who really a pioneered urban ministry. And much like First Cumberland, Fosdick had a number of ways that Riverside uh, used its building and used its people and used its resources to care for the wider community. And uh, I am thankful for his example, thankful for the example that First Cumberland has as well, caring for, for those that others might ignore or even those that others might despise. But let's go back to the hymn. That's why we're really here today. Remember, it was written in 1930, just seven or eight months into the Great Depression, uncertain times indeed. And so to ask God, grant us wisdom, grant us courage, for the facing of this hour, for the living of these days. Cure your children's warring madness and help us rededicate ourselves that we would not fail anyone, not man nor thee. All of those are wonderful, wonderful ways of expressing the hope that the church has and the mission that the church has. And so as we too are living in uncertain days, uh, seven or eight months into a global pandemic, uh, not sure what the political landscape is going to look like over the next few months or next few years, even if we know who the president is, uh, let us look to the God of grace and the God of glory for the wisdom, for the courage to face this hour and to face this day. And I think it's most appropriate. I'm going to close our devotional today with a, a choir from a Michigan, from the Gross Point Memorial Church in Michigan, who did this uh, hymn uh, virtually in order to minister to their congregation and to the world during these uncertain times. How thankful we are that we indeed can have the courage and the grace to face and the wisdom to face the days ahead because God is with us. Amen.